Thank you, Charlotte Lefevre, for playing Rock of Ages, The Hiding Place, and Hiding in Thee. I am Chaplain Ann Weaver. The refrain to the final song is, Hiding in Thee, Hiding in Thee, Thou blessed Rock of Ages, I'm Hiding in Thee. I have been thinking about the word hiding recently. I think about my friends who have relatives living in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. And they have relatives who have been hiding from the winds and the rains that Hurricane Fiona brought earlier in the week. Several team members have relatives in Puerto Rico and have asked us to pray for their loved ones who are stranded in hard to reach places and cut off from communication with others. It has been agonizing for them thinking about their relatives being hidden away and cut off. I have also been thinking about diseases hiding in our bodies and then coming to our awareness through illness, symptoms, or testing. Thankfully, when these problems are discovered, many of us have access to health care, and we lift our prayers for healing to the God of compassion. In addition to these concerning images of hiding, I have some pleasant experiences to share. At our home, we have started a wildflower garden about the size of a football field. And the other day, I walked around the edges of the wildflowers, and I was struck by how many things were hidden from my sight until I looked closer. I saw a, pran a praying mantis couple mating on a tall stalk. I witnessed dozens of cocoons on other stems and blending in with the fall colors. And I know that there are thousands of seeds that are falling to the ground from the existing wildflowers, hiding in the good earth and producing even more wildflowers next year. My final story about hiding will lead us into the scriptures for this morning. On Monday evening, I went to our garden and I gave thanks that the tomatoes have stopped producing in such abundance. But then I noticed our bumper crop of basil. I harvested a big bowl of basil and decided to make pesto. In the food processor, I placed the basil, pine nuts, olive oil, and salt. I pressed the power button, and within 60 seconds, all these ingredients swooshed together to make a nice green paste. Oh, so beautiful to look at. But when I tasted the pesto, I grimaced. I put too much salt in this pesto. Oh dear, what can I add? What can I hide in this pesto? that will absorb the salt, but won't change the beautiful emerald color. I settled on a can of white beans. After another 60 seconds, I tasted the mixture and it was perfect. When my husband came home, I asked him to play one of my favorite games, which is guess what is hiding in this dish? It took him several tries, but he guessed beans were the secret ingredient. And then he happily spooned himself some more pesto. So what is the spiritual significance you might be asking to these stories about hiding? 
I became aware of at least two ways that hiding can reveal God's very nature. One way to think about hiding is likened to the three opening songs, hiding in God's providential love. Psalm 32, 7 reads, You are my secret hideout. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of rescue. We hide our souls in the comfort of our protector, God. When we are in trouble, we look for God's care. When we find hidden problems in our bodies, minds, or spirits, we turn to the great physician and our earthly health care providers for healing interventions. St. Ignatius prayed, O oh Christ Jesus, when all is darkness and we feel our weakness and helplessness, Give us the sense of your presence, your love, and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power, so that nothing may frighten us or worry us. For living close to you, we shall see your hand, your purpose, and your will through all things. If you want a copy of this prayer, come to my office and I have a copy for you so that you can pray this for yourself and your loved ones. The second way we can think about the spiritual implications of hiding is when the Spirit of God hides within our being. Jesus says in Matthew 13, verse 33, The kingdom of heaven is like yeast, which a woman took and hid in a bushel of wheat flour, until the yeast had worked its way through all the dough. God is the secret ingredient in our souls. Jesus is the one speaking wisdom into our thinking. The Spirit is offering comfort during distress. Prayer is often the way that we become aware of the secret ingredient that dwells within us. St. Ignatius offers more wisdom to us. He said, in returning and rest, you shall be saved. Quietness and trust shall be your strength. The Lord will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. Your teacher will not hide himself anymore. But your eyes shall see your teacher, and when you turn to the right or you turn to the left, your ears will hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Let us pray together that we may have the kingdom of heaven hidden in our hearts. Let us pray. O oh God, we hide ourselves in your protecting, caring, providential love. And we invite you to hide yourself in our souls so that when we need you, we can hear you, feel you, and trust you to work everything out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Charlotte Lefevre will play the song, Trusting Jesus, and the refrain says, Simply trusting every day, trusting through a stormy way, even when my faith is small, 
trusting Jesus, that is all. Trusting as the moments fly, trusting as the days go by, trusting him whatever befall, trusting Jesus, that is all.